what was your your first book was Henrietta the Dragon Slayer? Uh huh. That was the first book uh, I published. Your first <laughs> fiction book. And yeah. what was it about? So Henrietta the Dragon Slayer is a plucky, proud young woman, 17 years old, retired from the military, ready to go uh, find her way south to get to the beach, uh, the country of uh, sun and sand, and she really is kind of tired of life. You know. 17 years old, she's 17 tired years of old. life. She's jaded, she's tired of life, she's running away from something. Uh, she gets recruited to go into a quest to find this dragon for somebody else. And it doesn't really enchant her until she finds out that this dragon has a healing stone that could possibly help her mentor, who she finds out is gravely ill. So, kind of against her better judgment, she goes on this adventure with these three other unlikely companions to um, find this dragon. And along the way, she learns about herself and friendship and, and the power of uh, working together. And this won what kind of an award? It won grand prize for, in 2012, uh, in a California indie fiction contest. So California writers who write independent fiction, like myself, and it was plucked out as, as number one. And what uh, genre do you... It's young adult fantasy, so it's a made-up fantasy world, very much like a medieval world, pre-gunpowder, pre... Um, it's not that a mechanical of a world, pretty rural. We've got kings and barons and sorcerers and witches and dragons and magic. And, uh, oh, my. Oh, my. Yeah. yeah. What are you working on right now? So right now I'm working on a new novella, a Christmas novella, actually. Uh, it's about a uh, young woman who's a uh, Santa's elf who comes to the mundane world, our world, for her year abroad because they are required to go on their year abroad and they are required to create um, a beautiful object without magic so that they can go back and present to Santa, uncle, it's called uncle, uh, and prove to him that they should be a master elf. Uh, and she loves everything about the elf world. She is eager to figure out uh, resolve, figure out what her gift is and go home. Except she's kind of, she can't figure it out. She's stuck. She has um, creative blocks and she's kind of flighty. And then she meets Liam. Liam's our hero, very type A, very financial analyst guy, who um, needs a date to the Christmas party to advance in his job. What's your whip? Whip and work in progress. Well, my work in progress is my new Christmas novella. Oh. That's what I consider my work in progress. But I also have a story that I finished that I'm polishing now uh, called Dina, Fallen Angel. And it's about uh, how fallen angels don't go to hell, they become teenagers. And Dina wakes up in a llama farm in Sonoma with no memory of who she is, except with the nagging sense that she's done something wrong. So as she tries to figure out who she is and where she comes from and what she's done wrong, she has to integrate into this Sonoma Valley High School and gets involved in a mystery and I won't reveal the end. <laughs> Clearly I need a better pitch. <laughs> you can cut that. <laughs> I have a pitch for it. But okay, it man. Really, yeah. Okay, that's good. Alrighty. Okay. Anything else you want to add? Ah, I'm working, I'm about to publish book two of my young adult fantasy series. So that's called Henrietta and the Dragonstone. And it's just the next step in her adventures um, with her friends, and where the stakes are higher, a sorcerer is after her and wants her and everyone close to her dead. And the Ouch. fate of the five, five kingdoms is in her hands. Ooh.